Mock block, imagine my shock. Woke can't shake the hands of the clock. Lock, stock, and two smoking fags. Less like a woman and more man in drag. Illogical spark, trying to live long and prosper. Comical to pumped up people I foster. Way more chin than an Asian phone book. Let me set straight since the alphabet mistook Kyle for someone who's paying. Since I got the money, listen to what I'm saying. No dick and balls in the women's shelter. May transgender say helter skelter. ESG ugly, lady face stubbly. So repulsive, must make bubbly gdc game developers screaming in a field what will 2024 yield layoffs lock the comments hide the dislikes a i don't know how to make a white journalist slide developers to what's a poor consumer to do so now on top of what's between their thighs they gaslight and hope you don't believe your eyes if you're straight your preference is hate no debate with wanna be niggas who trying to menstruate Hello, beta testers. In the credits of gaming's latest politically correct garbage, a supposedly mature game acknowledges its sensitivity consultation. Sushi Squad, the still broken, by studio Woke Steady, lists Sweet Baby Inc. Relevant to this discussion, co-founders Kim Belair and David Bedard, writer Chris Kindred, writer Danny Lalanders. Special thanks to Chris Kindred, who harassed too close to the sun and propelled the group into a movement of now well over 300,000. Kim and David's team have worked on other upcoming games, including but not limited to Unknown Nine Awakening, which, let's face it, now that you're enlightened, beta tester, you are definitely avoiding. The rejection of this repulsive cancer's forced injection into more and more slop has sweet babies like Chris Kindred crying. And of course, racist journalists will jump up to defend but they all refuse to report that Sweet Baby triggered this Streisand with harassment, brigading, and privacy invasions to accompany their long list of racist and sexist remarks. But fear not, beta tester, or maybe do fear, that's what Kim Belair says that they need to do if you don't give them what they want. Extort. But I believe you'll find the invasion of your privacy is much easier for them with the funding of multiple governments ready and willing to conflate your repulsion with this thing that you bought sucking and not working with extremism and radicalization. And I mentioned the racism of Sweet Baby Inc. because it's comical. The Anti-Defamation League is coming to bat for this bitch who has to say things about abortion and Jewish people. These are the same people that goaded somebody into taking their own life and using that money. The money that they're not extorting. My name is Kyle, and I've endeavored at great risk simply to highlight the truth exclusively transgender people fly up my ass over. But if I may read to you this Kotaku journalist's words, they say, Deeply sorry to all these white people who want so badly to believe that they've experienced true racism when somebody calls them cracker or something but will never be passed over for a job. Allow me to stop you there. Ex-sweet baby employee Danny Lalanders. Validate has a team of mostly, mostly all people of color. We have no white people on our team. Um, I did that because I wanted to create a safe environment. And I know the best way for an environment to be safe is to be around people who are just like me. Um, and I'm not saying that white people in the industry are creating safe, unsafe environments. I'm not saying that. That is not what I'm saying. I am saying that sometimes it is hard to work with white people because they think that something may be okay, but it was really a microaggression. And no one wants to deal with that while they are trying to make a game that they love. Another disgraceful display from talentless dimwit activists so high on each other's farts that they've cast common as well as business sense into the fire 
and Elrond didn't even have to beg. A response addressed to this Kotaku journalist reads, Let's not be disingenuous. Traditional values and media employs you crafting a great product that can organically appeal to everyone. The people you're standing up for, ma'am, have not made anything inclusive but ironically exclusionary. To which they reply, ha 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 ha, yes, good old cis normative heteronormative white supremacist patriarchal entertainment. These are not words in a sequence that normal people ever use. Allow me to read it again. Cis normative heteronormative white supremacist patriarchal entertainment. Wokeism reduces the world down to simplistic oppressor victim relations. White, straight, slim, or male are the oppressors, and non white, LGBT, fat, or female are victims. Cis normative heteronormative white supremacist patriarchal entertainment. Wokeists typically reject claims of objectivity as a weapon created by straight white men to enforce the dominant cis heteronormative patriarchal white supremacist worldview. And I know that best way for an environment to be safe is to be around people who are just like me. My poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream that people can coexist regardless of their race, gender, or identity. I have a dream that fragility people have projected onto others for a decade? stops making disagreements cancellation-worthy or instantly conflatable with a violent attack. I have a dream I can play a vulgar video game named after a felony that isn't pulling punches, politically correct, flattening chests because of the insecurities of cocksucker screaming in a field or somebody who belongs in a fraternity who wishes they were in a sorority. GDC developers are in a field screaming because they're the victim and this pussified display of cringe is a microcosm of the reasons your escapes now suck. They refuse to coexist. They must replace. They must alter. They must change the corruption, the vandalization of art that people enjoyed enough to pay for it. It's because of them. And they're incessantly vocalizing verbatim their intention to rob you of choice, to challenge your standards. It's not racism to them if it's the specific race that they don't like. This word means a different thing to them every day, and they're gonna rewrite that history. A new normal for a modern audience, George Orwell, robbing people of the choice through sad attempts at conditioning, re-education, beta tester, government. This has failed. It is rejected en masse. These videos ain't for my brand. <laughs> They're a conversation to keep people focused because they are seeing what they might become if they lose touch. You underestimated who you were dealing with but honestly maybe you overestimated them with how long it took we the remaining people face daily reminders that you cannot trust the news even gaming news that will deliberately mislead you because of an agenda the very politics that people might have hoped to escape and kick up their feet with an entertaining outlet before returning to work school family whatever grind keeps the nation running but the nation's media has been compromised and even the news is so blatant in its denial of the truth that the cults showing the changing of their definitions and alterations of pages now are receiving more attention than perhaps they should. This parallels many things going on right now, tragically, but tragedy plus time might be funny. They know they've lost because lies are their only option. There's enough of them, intelligent enough to still taste shame to know that this should be hidden, but they're being eaten alive by even more selfish, dim-witted people that of course will be elevated ever higher 
for whatever they can signal as something wrong with them that needs to be celebrated. People won't be wrong to assume that this last decade is all according to plan. To you, watcher, in your infinite power, beta tester, if the quality didn't nosedive, I wouldn't be here. So thank you for kicking back with me on a journey through time and space. But I'm tired. And I imagine I could take a break and start gaming for a little while now. I'm sure there's some other righteous Kyle willing to compromise their health, sacrifice their time, without ever speaking to any of you. You know what I know you don't need? To see yourself exactly in everything you consume. That would make you insane. Your favorite songs, your favorite voice actors, like if they were songs about you or impressions of you. <laughs> that would be fucking stupid. I'm picturing the uh, poster to being John Malkovich. Woke is peaked because the people who remain are, <laughs> they're incapable. So Beta Tester, thank you. You didn't just avoid the woke slop, you bravely carried the truth, and it's organically led to culture evolving. I've seen my own resources return to me translated into different languages like Pokemon cards. And my weak point prioritization has been super effective. Quite the opposite of the reaction that the gaslighting has now on culture's evolved form. That's ineffective. The hacks can no longer effectively convince their master that the customer is the problem. Social constructivists have failed to deconstruct and challenge your standards of beauty. They tried their best to erase femininity exclusively in a hilarious attempt to convince general audiences that their new normal is organic, is naturally occurring, and it's not forced. Okay, may your modern audience save you. Ha, ha, ha.